theme of this conference couldn't be more timely. The imperative and centrality of Africa's industrial development has been brought front and, front and center in recent years because of the lessons from the shocks that have troubled the globe. From the COVID-19 pandemic, to the war in Ukraine, through to the climate emergency, it has become an existential necessity for Africa to industrialize. A lot has been done in setting the frameworks that can foster Africa's industrialization. Take the African continental free trade, for example. We now know that thanks to this historic agreement, Africans can invest in industrial ventures with the certainty that there is supportive trade policy that will not discriminate against these products in both tariffs and non-tariff barriers. We also know that this will play a critical role in raising incomes and also structurally transform the continent. It will also be a dividend to sustainable peace and security, especially in conflict-prone regions. Now is the time to invest in Africa's value addition because it is the only way that Africa will change the status quo. Investing in these abundant raw materials and commodities that have transformed the economies of several advanced economies. And we must ensure that this value addition is also based on the regional value chains approach. It is time to step up support for industrial action and bring the weight of political support to propel industrial action in Africa. I am optimistic about Africa and about its prospects. There is no better time to invest in Africa than now. I encourage Africa's businesses to make the necessary investments, governments to create enabling environments, and international institutions must open or must be open to listening to the voices of private sector and better understand how we can sharpen our efforts of support.